Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use WooClap for distance learning. So WooClap was created with the aim to enhance interactivity and participation during a presentation, but it also enables to maintain that interactivity between teachers and students when courses are given remotely. We can use WooClap remotely in two ways, in real time live, but also asynchronously, in other words, at different times. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use WooClap in real time thanks to video conferences and the asynchronous use of WooClap will be shown in another video. I'm going to show you the features that will be really useful to generate live interactivity with your audience whilst being in different spaces. First, there are two buttons that you can activate, the authentication button right here. This will enable you to see how many people are following your lecture who is following your lecture, and identify the participants. You also have the option to tick the participant username, which will require your audience to choose a username. Participation can also be completely anonymous. Next to this, we have the I'm confused button right here. This will give you an idea of the level of understanding of your audience. In just one click, your students will be able to notify you of the fact that they don't really follow you and that they would love to have more explanation on a particular concept. I will just show you how it appears in your presentation. So on your slides, it will appear at the top here. And on a smartphone, it will appear as such. So when ticking the I'm confused button, you see now that it appears here at the top of, top of my slide, that there is, there is one confused person. If I tick that I got it, it's again back at zero, so it adapts in real time. So these are the two buttons that you can activate. Next to this, we also have the wall of messages, right here. This is an efficient way to gather the students' questions and thoughts. Once you activate the wall, it will enable the participants to send in their questions. As you can see, that's how it appears with that little bubble right here. You can also allow likes so that students can like each other's questions and in group prioritize certain questions. Let me show you how it appears right here. I'm now able to send in some questions. When going into my presentation and into the messages tab, that's how they appear. Let me just write a hi. And there you have it, it just appeared in real time. Now we are actually going to have a look at how to give a course in real time through a video conference. So to give a lecture in real time but remotely in another space, town, or sometimes even country, well, you can use several tools like Google Meet or Skype and much more. So once your lecture is ready, you can open a window for your video conference and another window for WooClap. You can share your screen by clicking right here and then come back to your WooClap interface. Your students uh, will connect to the video conference on a computer and they will answer to the WooClap questions on their smartphone. Thank you for watching this video and do not hesitate to watch other videos on our YouTube channel.